got, Chris? Same thing as we did on the El Camino. Uh, but this one I'm thinking about taking up to Sturgis and making it my driver. So front, back, every single thing you can touch, feel, anything, look at, test, make sure it works. Give me the life expectancy of the brakes, uh, tune up. Um, go ahead and change all fluids all the way around. Every nook, every cranny, every single thing. Sweep it out, vacuum it out. Give me a total bill of health. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. I mean, other than that squealing on the uh, power steering, it drove real well. Yeah. And uh, we'll get some tires coming from it. So uh, do it to it, brother. We got to take it up to This video, Better Help. Life's been pretty wild lately, and I'm excited to share with you that we wrapped up a successful rally for Gas Monkey Sturgis. It was a blast, but I gotta tell you, the ride to get there was not always smooth. That's why I'm pumped to partner with BetterHelp. They connect you with licensed therapists who really get what you're going through and offer solid, unbiased advice when you need it. Being an entrepreneur, well, it can be a crazy ride, especially when you know you're pushing hard to get things done. Now that launching Gas Monkey Sturgis is behind me, I can look back and appreciate how important it is to have someone in your corner, especially when the pressure's on. There's no shame in reaching out for a little help, and better help makes it easy. Therapy is like a tune-up for your mind, whether it's clearing the stress, managing the challenges, or just clearing your head. I gotta tell you, it's a game changer. Now, check this out. Signing up is a breeze. You just go to betterhelp.com forward slash gas monkey garage, answer a few questions, and you'll be matched with a therapist. You can do it all from your phone or your computer with video chat, phone calls, or even messaging. Whatever works best for you, BetterHelp makes therapy accessible and straightforward. Here's the cool part. If your therapist isn't the right fit, switching to a new one is as simple as a pit stop. No extra cost, just finding what works for you. Head over to betterhelp.com forward slash gas monkey garage or choose gas monkey garage during sign up and get 10% off your first month. Get the help you need on your terms. Betterhelp.com forward slash gas monkey garage. It's your road to a better you. Woo! All right, morning, Chris. What's going on here? Uh, we got all of our goodies now. Is that all it needed? Uh, pretty much. Fresh so, oil, fresh liquids. Well, kick ass. What about spark plugs? And uh, they're, they're brand new. Oh, everything's good? Yeah. Well, let's get after it. Uh, I just need good, solid transportation for uh, Sturgis, and it might as well be four-wheel drive, and it might as well be cool. All right. So, uh, what about four-wheel drive working, do we know? Um, all that's wrong is your hubs are seized up here, but I just ordered them, uh, okay. so they should be here today. And what about uh, our fluids and our uh, differentials? Um, I checked them. They're actually pretty clean. I don't know. Um, Need it. Should be good there. All right. Kick ass. Keep going. all four of the shocks this is the dual shock setup on this board um, we're missing one O'Reilly's messed up our order uh, but we got that we got that coming um, went through it the only thing that I've really found bad was the old crusty brake lines I got the other side off already and as you see it's pretty brittle so a few turns it would have just busted and that would have been no good uh, so uh, we're gonna change them out and um, get this thing going. All right, uh, we got all the suspension work done. Brakes are good. We pr uh, already pumped them up and everything. It's really good there. Um, the rallies brought us out of the shock. We're done with that. Um, Richard wanted a little extra touch to it, so we're adding this MagnaFlow muffler to it, and we're gonna dole the ends out. Um, so it should sound pretty good. 
So we're uh, putting the wheels back on temporarily until the new tires come in. Um, uh, I finished up the exhaust while I was doing that. Kenny had flushed out the radiator because it was pretty gross. Um, and we're about to do the first startup after I changed the exhaust up a little bit. Here we go. found out we had a bad heater core in this thing. Um, they wear out because people run too much water in them back then. Uh, so we got a new one and I got to remove the air box here to exchange it out. Um, someone had already started on this. A lot of stuff was loose so I got to go in there and figure out what they broke. Um, and we'll get it changed out. Here we go. We gotta get to this guy. <coughs> Follow me. May need a new fan. That's nasty. Well, yippee ki yay. Somebody catch that on fire at some point or something? No, that's that, that caulking they used back then. Very sticky. That's holding it in right now. Hmm. Well, I think you got a good handle on it. I'm glad you got that right. Jesus. There it is. I'm gonna go clean this thing out. And get all that goop out. That's how you change the heater cord. Hey! What are you guys looking for? A carburetor? Why? Oh, I just, you know, I'm bored. I wanted to know what y'all are doing. Y'all don't talk to me anymore. I know for sure the carburetor you're looking for, the one you're gonna want is up there. Where? Just go up that ladder. It's up on top. You'll see it when you get up there. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, you gotta get off in the back. All the way up. Yeah. Hey Josh, I keep hands up here. Nope, not up here. Why do I see different wheels? Well, that one was bent and we could not find a full set to match, so we found another set. Well, these were round. What were the other ones? Like uh, triangle? They had, they had the D-hole. D-hole? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, I would say, don't you want to throw these on the uh, balancer and check them before you go mountain? Yeah, that'd probably be smart. Woohoo! <laughs> Been in this business a long time.
hear those beautiful engine sounds. <laughs> yeah, make sure the clutch feels good, brakes feel good, go around the block a few times. did the oil I noticed a little moisture and I was afraid of a head gas problem I'm thinking that's what we're leaning to is to see the waters black again doesn't look good not supposed to do that is it I think we have the original problem. I thought we did. What's that? Head gasket. The reason behind that black water when I first drained it out of the radiator. I believe oil and water is mixing. It's just not going the other way. That's why we didn't have milkiness. You lost my R? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm more pissed off about. You lost the R? Or I got a bad motor. Don't lose the D. Let it cool up and then we'll yep. figure it out. All right, so uh, you already ruined my day and told me that uh, we probably have a possible head gasket problem, but now that it's cooled off, what'd you find out? Uh, well, I did do the contaminant check on the water and uh, it is showing signs, just to confirm it, um, of bad head gaskets. Um, so, but it's also got a lifter knocking. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Um, so I say... But this is a 400? It's, it's a 351M. It's the most ridiculous engine combination they did just for a couple of years. So we're not gonna find one just at one of the motor supplies? No. No, you'd be lucky to find a um, camshaft for this engine. Does it match the one we have over there? Yes, it's the same exact motor we got over there. If I swap motors, if we just went with a crate carved to pan, then I'm going to have a transmission problem? Yeah, we'll have to find a different transmission. Or being this one is standard, the bell housing is detachable from the transmission. We could possibly try to see if we can find a bell housing that goes to a different motor that mounts to that transmission. I guess the plan of action would be to pull the motor, put it on a stand, and pull it apart and see what we're looking at. Because it could be as simple as a head gasket, but we could have problems. Yeah. What do you think? What's your gut? Head gasket or problems? <laughs> uh I'm going to say probably problems, just what everything looked like when we first started on this thing. Damn it. All right. Um, first things first, let's, uh, let's call City Motor and make sure that they can commit to building this if we, before we tear it apart. Because the yeah. last thing I want is all this shit out here, here, and this not even be able to move. Um, so let's do that. And that'll probably be first thing in the morning because they roll up the doors at five o'clock. Yeah. Um, call them, tell them it's a 351M and make sure they can commit to being able to build it. Then we pull it out 
and see if it's something that we can just uh, fix here ourselves or if we've got to send it off and have it decked and built and what have you. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a really shitty plan, yeah, Chris. It does. Ah. man so i am back from sturgis what have we found out uh we pulled the engine out um and tore it apart and noticed there's a lot of little things wrong with this block um compression wise it was pretty even all the way across the board except for one cylinder just one off uh, but when we pulled the heads we noticed some uh, acid eating uh what's from antifreeze going in heat um, and that's on a couple pistons. And some chips. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. So we think the whole thing needs to just be machined if you want to go that route. Um, and we just go back stock on the lower end. There's no need in a board or anything unless you want to. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, okay. I did find out the, the cam was getting pretty ate up. That's what the tapping was. Uh, two lifters were bad but there's a lobe on here that's getting pretty sharp terrific but the the cause behind that was because they replaced the oil pump too late because uh, there's a new oil pump in it okay then uh let's just get it built okay. um and uh get with city motor spot get it over there and get it done um is there any reason to mess with our uh, differentials or the tranny no, I, I mean, we replaced the seals on them, so that's all good. Um, it's just the engine now. Tranny feels good, it's not leaking. Oh yeah, it's good. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> let's get that over there today, if okay. possible. All right. That sucks. got the 351M for the 79F150 back from City Motors and we had them just go through it. They uh, bead blasted it and uh, got it nice looking for us and uh, all we're doing right now um, is putting the pieces together so we can paint the block and all these external pieces together. Uh, we are going flat black with it. Um, so it should look pretty cool. Uh, right now Mike's handling the sandblasting of valve covers and oil pan. And uh, we're just going to continue putting pieces on and get Mike to paint it. It's a well-known fact that a smooth painted pulley will reduce drag on your engine, giving you an extra 5 to 15 horsepower more than a chrome package would. Just saying. All right, so here's my new motor. That's it. Cue! The black attack. <laughs> what are you messing with over here? I'm changing the brake booster because it had a bad vacuum leak. 
before, so I'm changing it before we throw the motor in the way. Well, I would assume your general consensus is go ahead and replace everything we can see that might give us hell. Yep, that's what I did on the motor. Okay, and then anything that's in here that needs to be addressed that we didn't address the first time, what are we looping and unlooping here? Uh, that right there is somebody deleted the power steering cooler. I'm actually gonna put one back. Put one back on, all right, cool. Yeah. And uh, you already sealed the transmission? Yep, that's all done. Cool, kick ass. This thing should be fun. Ricky thinks we should name it the Reaper. The Reaper? Yeah. Don't listen to Ricky. As a matter of fact, don't even talk to Ricky when you're here. <laughs> talking about seals and stuff on the truck. So AMD hooked us up with two kits, believe it or not, on the MS-79, so we have everything to reseal this truck too. I know Richard, he's gonna be picky, so we might as well reseal it. I know you was already complaining about them, so we have everything. Take a look, if it needs glass, we have all the glass here to replace everything, so I'm about to head out to Tulsa to do the AAA Road Fest, so good luck all and right. uh, take care of it. Yeah. Because I moved the coil to where it faces forward. Uh, oh, yeah, it was facing backwards before. Yeah. Look at that, man. Looks oh, so man. nice. Put that new brake booster on. We left that ugly ass master. <laughs> See, I called it. I said, I, I told him. I don't care. Is this going to be all right? Everything going to work? Yep. Well, then, uh, looks like it's in. The shaft is in the hole. These little curly cues on this side aren't quite as, these are less sexy than these. Oh, you're talking about this? Yeah, the little curly cue yeah, part. I can pull them out. I'm just kidding, I really don't care. <laughs> uh, but anyways, badass. When will I be driving it, tomorrow? I wanna do it today. Let's go. basically replaced every major component on this thing. Is there anything that we didn't touch? Uh, other than actually going into the transmission, that's pretty much it. All I did was reseal it. DC seems to be blowing cold. Yeah. Guess that doesn't work. Can't tell. So we got the front end line, we got a new steering box. And all new bushings. And all new arms underneath the front end. All new shocks everywhere new engine <laughs> it is definitely a lot quieter in here than the last the first time i drove this truck seems like it does all right definitely keeps me cold in here oh yeah i think it needs more no that's i got it at the right freon now it's just uh i need to play with the idle a little bit it's just set with a carburetor hat on it already it's just when you stop, it kind of warms up just a hair. It's not too bumpy. For a four-wheel drive short truck, this is actually really smooth. Feels good. No, I dig it. That's yeah. super cool. 
so play with the idol on the AC and then uh, we got to figure out what Kenny did or didn't do to the window so we can fix that and then uh, I think it might be ready yeah. lights horns blinkers windshields all that crap yeah all that works so I, I don't want to have to work on it up there yeah Uh, that solar panel idea was neat. That was mine. <laughs> that was my idea. Open that window. Yeah, so it's 100% over there. Okay, you can close it down. Yeah, it just had the lock on it. Well, we'll have to ask Kenny why he started something and didn't finish it. might boil down to lack of knowledge or effort. It looks like it's bent here. He probably bent it. Yeah. I'll get the door. Good job, my man. Let's finish up that. And this idle you're talking about where it drops a little bit, but yeah. if it's fine, really, because it's not going to be 107 degrees up there. Yeah. Well, there you go. New guy, Chris. Uh, well, I guess he's not all that new now. He's been here a few months, but uh, we have a really bitching, ready to go truck. Uh, this is going to be able to sit out the airport in Sturgis. It's got solar panel charging it up and uh, antenna for boosting the phone signal up in the mountains. And uh, it's going to be my, wait a second. I just literally told everybody how to steal it. Erase that. <laughs>